face. You should probably turn that off. We're, we're live. Okay. So, welcome back to our Facebook Live. <laughs> Hello. So, today we have another food to try, and we also have another toy to try. But first, I would like to show you guys something. First, I have a few things to show you, but it's really fast. This is a key holder. This is a pick lock, and this and this little nudge is for it to stand on. You can make it with a paper clip, and it's pretty simple. Then, this part is to hold your keys so it can stand. It's multi-purpose. And then, we have, and then I have some Cheetos. This is a wand, Cheetah wand. <laughs> Going a little bit of <laughs> This is a pickaxe, or otherwise a footless flamingo. A footless flamingo. <laughs> An orange footless wingless flamingo. That's sad. <laughs> Last one. What do you got? This is for the crepes, and then their croissant. One that looks like a croissant, one that looks like another one, and one that is a fire hydrant. Okay. So today's episode is brought to you by Izzy, the refreshing sparkling cider. So this is uh, our sparkling water. This one is apple. And Kyrie has peach. And there's also different flavors, which will, and we had these before. But anyways, there's different flavors that we tried before, not on Facebook Live, but still, there's different flavors. Like in the black pot. cherry, <coughs> what else? Cranberry orange. Pomegranate. Pomegranate. Yep. It's really good. And they go good with drinks. Uh, you can mix them. So for kids, you can mix them with ginger ale or tonic water or... Anything that is non-alcoholic. Uh, non-alcoholic, that's right. But for grown-ups out there, you can mix them with anything. So for the peach, you can mix that with gin. It makes a good gin fizz. Um, for the apple, probably rum. And then the black cherry and pomegranate, those both go really well with vodka. But that's for the adults out there. Kids, don't do that. Don't try this at home, kids. Please. So okay. don't try wine unless you're over 20. 21. 21. Yes. But did you know, did you know, in France, in France, they can drink at the age of 14? What the? Yep. They get to drink at the age of 14. Hey, speaking um, of French, we have a French food. So can you guess what it is? It's very cool. Any artificial sweeteners in them? Um, doesn't look like it. Mm. Natural flavors, concentrate, sparkling water, apple juice. Um, grape juice, concrete, clarified peach juice, concrete, natural. No added sugar, no preservatives. So, yep, it's good stuff. <coughs> it's just carbonated water with flavor in it. Yep. Speaking of French, can you guess our food if you like? Three, two, one, reveal! Ta -da. Dun, da, da, da. Crepes. Where crepes. did you find them? So the crepes, I actually found at Costco. So this whole bag of 20 crepes was only $8. Oh, and the main attraction is this. Make sure to look at our Smarble. Smarble? Marble mini pigs. And this is a Harry Potter. Same Costco. We are. We bought them at Costco, five percent off. No, five dollars. I mean, five dollars. Yes, five dollars. And then that's our main thing. And there's twenty mini figs, twenty crepes, twenty mini figs. But we haven't eaten yet, so we're gonna do the crepes first. Let's go! Oh, look, they're cute little bags. Oh, they smell so good. It smells like a uh, wrapped like a fruit roll-up. Yeah. It smells like a fruit roll-up. Let's see. 
Easy to open. That's a good thing. It's not easy for mine. No? Let me it's try better. it this way. There it you works. go. It says they're ready to eat, so we don't have to heat them up. We don't have to do anything special. Can't All wait. right. So. I never tried crepes, especially filled with chocolate, but I think I know what they're going to taste like. Ready? Ready. Mmm. It's like fluffy and chocolatey. Well, it's filled with hazelnut spread. And the spread itself is fine. But you just can't beat a fresh crepe. And this is not fresh. It's packaged, it's been sitting a while. So it's got a firmer texture. It's got the flavor, good flavor. But it's a little uh, chewy. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I have to go with maybe a, maybe a six. I was guessing you were going to say that. Really? Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna do a shameless plug because I've had the best crepe in the world. Do you know where I've had it? Hmm. You want to take a guess? France? No, I've never been to France. <laughs> I used to work there. <clears throat> Not in France. Oh, I think I know. Where? Table Mountain Casino. Table Mountain Casino. I'll tell you what, you know, the one thing I missed, well, I missed a lot of things. Mike Thompson, for one. I miss you, man. One thing I miss is the crepes at Mountain Peace Buffet. They knew how to make them. And they had bananas, they had strawberries. What? One time, one time, I filled it with cheesecake. I had, a, I had a cheesecake crepe. And it was the best thing Topped ever. with strawberries and bananas. I cried. It was so good, I fell to my knees and I cried. That's how good it was. The best thing ever, like nothing can beat it. Nothing can beat it. A hundred thousand million hundred out of thousand million hundred out of everything in the world. That crepe was one of the best things I've ever tried. Mm. So, yeah, good times. And crepes taste good with Izzy's. They do. And let me try it with a Cheeto. I saved one. That is so disgusting. <laughs> I like crunchy and soft things. Good. Ten out of ten. 10 out of 10. You sure like things. Okay. Well, let's get on to Harry Potter. Now, you know the rule. Harry Potter is English. So you've got to speak an English accent. Right? You mean UK? UK. Ish. <laughs> yes, because they're from all over. Hogwarts is actually in Scotland. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Where? I'm gonna use this to open it. Oh my goodness. What? It works. Okay. Just stick it in there, under the tape, and lift. See that? Mm-hmm. Just like that. A bit awkward with my right hand, though. <laughs> I'm a lefty, for those who don't know. Boom, baby. All right. Lifted it. Now can you open it? I have my hands full. <laughs> I love, whenever I see Harry Potter, I speak UK-ish because I sound like Harry, like Hermione Granger. Do you remember how to say crepes are good in French? Les crepes sont bon. That's your French lesson. Crepes are good. <laughs> Les crepes sont bon. So, I'm gonna guess the character. Make sure to watch our Marvel video because we got the whole set and they both have, and all the characters have sets, like pairs. <laughs> I've got Dumbledore. I'm gonna guess Dobby. Obviously Dobby. Obviously. Obviously. Well, it's not my fault. I've got Dumbledore. One second, let me cut this open. I what? accidentally ripped it <clears throat> Here. wrong way. Where, where are you going? Get back to the Duh. What 
do you think is Dumbledore's favorite spell to use? Alohomora. Alohomora? <laughs> well, I that's think... my, but that's my second favorite. I don't know. That's your second favorite. Dobby, 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 Dobby. Oh, it's Harry Potter. You've got Harry Potter. Oh, I've got a Weasley. Ron. Ron. That's his robes for Quidditch. But he looks more like Fred or George. He looks more like a warrior. Warrior? <laughs> And look, it's Harry. Oh, here's my favorite character. Voldemort. Lord oh. Voldemort, the most powerful wizard in all of wizardry. And this is Dumbledore. 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 Okay, we have four characters right now, and we still need one, two, three, four, five, six. Six more. Ready? I think I definitely got. Ooh, I got. I think I got Luna. Look what I got. What? Dobby. Dobby. We got Dobby. Oh. Oi. <laughs> Poor Dobby. Look at him. He's so sad. Wow. <laughs> so we're gonna get two of each. Luna. That's pretty cool. Luna. I need one. Luna or me. I want me. Me? Hermione. Oh. You got Hermione. I've got Hermione. Look at her. She is... Oh, look at me. I am um, crossed leg. And definitely Loon. I got Draco Malfoy. Draco. Draco. I'm not a fan of Draco. Me either. He's such a bully to Harry. He's a bit of a prop. Oh, I think I got Luna. Definitely Luna. Oh. What? You got Luna. <laughs> we have the whole set except for Victor Crumb. Why would they put Victor Crumb in the series? I don't know. And why is Luna wearing the lion mane? Why is she wearing the lion mane? From the Quidditch match. I knew, but oh, why? Oh, I've got it. This is all from the Goblet of Fire. She wore that at the tournament. Victor Crumb participated in the tournament. I think this is obviously Victor Crumb. Obviously. Obviously Victor Crumb. Oh, I got another Dobby! Another, Dobby. another little baby Dobby. Now this. <laughs> oh, that's Harry Potter. Harry Potter! We have another Harry Potter! Line, Line them up. up! Line them up! I need. We need Victor Crumb! Victor Crumb! Hurry, hurry, Victor Crumb! Where is Victor Crumb? Oh, I got another Hermione! Aha. Oh, wait, is that Cedric, Cedric Diggory? We got Cedric. Yes, Cedric. We haven't had him. Oh, yeah. <coughs> One more to go. We need Victor Crumb. Victor, we need you. I got Dumbledore. Dumbledore. I've got two of him. Draco. We need Victor Crumb. No, there's no Snape in this set. You got Crumb. No Snape. Oh my gosh, it's Victor Crumb. I I do not want Snape in the set, so I'm very good. Oh, Voldemort's right there. <laughs> Why don't you want Snape? Snape is the best character. Uh, I don't think he was bad. He's so gloomy. Well, because he has a hard life. So we need so we need Ron, Victor Crumb, Cedric. Luna, Ced, and Cedric. So. I mean, Victor Crumb, Luna, and Ron as a double. <gasps> Victor Crumb! Alright, two more. We need another Luna or Ron. Yes, another Luna! <gasps> Please that cross, must be Ron. <laughs> cross your heart and fingers and legs for Ron. It's a lot of crossing. Mm -hmm. We've got the whole set. So we've got Dobby, Albus Dumbledore. Wait, roll call. Okay, roll call. Dobby. Dobby. Albus and Dumbledore. Dumbledore. Harry, Harry Potter. Ron, Voldemort, Hermione, Draco, Luna, Cedric, and Victor Crumb. Well, we're missing one. We are? Yeah. Neville Longbottom. Neville is not in the set. Oh, what about Cho Chang? No. No? I like Cho Chang. I know, I like Cho Chang too. 
I like all the girls except for bad guys. Only Luna, Hermione, and Cho, and Ginny. Yeah. Wait, where's Ginny in this pack? No Ginny. Oh my goodness. Or Pansy Parkinson. Or Fred or and George and Percy. Where is the whole Weasley family? You know, we just need to create the whole Harry Potter family. I know. We need Arthur and Molly Weasley. And we need Dudley. Dudders. Even though he's kind of mean to Harry, we still need the whole family. You're having a second crepe? What? I like it. Let me see. They're delicious. Serving size is one crepe. It's 150 calories, 11 grams of sugar. No, you can still have it. You're growing, you need calories. 5% cholesterol, two grams of protein, 7% fiber, so that's good. No teachers. Yeah, you're right, no teachers. <laughs> oh, we have someone that's a Gryffindor. Ooh, but her daughter's a Slytherin. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be Slither. I either want to be Ravenclaw with Luna and Cho, or Gryffindor with Ginny and Harry and okay. Hermione. Well, we need to get you the sorting hat. Where is it? <laughs> At Hogwarts. I'm a Slytherin myself. Get, you, get away from me, Slytherin. Why not? There can be good Slytherins. Snape hmm. was a Slytherin. All right. So once again, fresh crepes are 10,000 times better than packaged crepes. So, packaged crepes are better. No, they're not. I need to take you to Table Mountain and get you some real crepes. Mm. One day. One day. Good. Hey, look, your GMAs are Ravenclaw. Oh, nice, you're with Luna and Cho Chang. That's right. So where are you going? <laughs> get back here, this is your show. Our show. Oh, we have someone that likes Snape the whole time. <laughs> Even from the first movie. Mom is probably a Hufflepuff. She probably is. She likes to learn and read. Yep. Ooh, look, William says he might have his mom make a special delivery of crepes. She makes the best crepes. She knows how to do it for real. For real. For Real. Yeah. What are you doing? Okay. So anything else you'd like to mention? Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> we've gotten six, what, six songs for our dance off? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you guys can all, wait, for real, for real? Yeah, for real, for real. Mm. Best crepes ever, ever, ever. So anyways, we have six songs and you guys get to choose another song, if you like. So, so far, a lot of the songs have been centered around uh, disco. We got Casey and the Sunshine Band. Um, who else did we get? Uh, uh, Bee Gees. Uh, we had one person suggest James Franco. I haven't even, I've never heard of that. And I chose a few. Yeah, you chose a few. Um, I'm actually going with something from the movie Zombies. No, I know. No, don't do it. I can't it. do that one? Yeah, don't do it. Okay. Then I have to go High School Musical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're all in this together. Yes. Yes, so that's... I, I think love, we have to do that. I love that song. And then uh, Kyrie is doing Microphone Fiend. Right? So we're going to... we got to put together some, some thoughts on that and uh, figure out the logistics, how we're going to do it, where we're going to do we're it. We're also going to be doing an old and new comparison. Yes, we still have to get some items for old and new comparison. And the then, list keeps growing, but we still keep eating. That's the number one priority. Next week, we're going to be doing... ASMR? Kitty ASMR. Kitty okay. ASMR. We're going to give our cat some cat-friendly human food, and they're going to be trying them, and we're going to hear... Um, and see them if they react to So them. it's going to be the cat's turn to have their video and try their, new foods. Their time. Yes. So it's going to be their time. It's a special edition. It's, instead of fam-tastic, it's going to be fur-tastic foods. Cat-tastic. Cat-tastic. <laughs> there you go. Cat-tastic <laughs> foods. All right. So that's that's today's show. Any okay. further, last thoughts before we sign off? Mm -hmm. Wait. What was that other thing that I mentioned today? Um... This morning for our Facebook Live. 
Another fifth question. Oh, yes. <clears throat> she wants to do the, the hand in the box challenge where you reach in and figure yeah, out what you're the touching. Yeah, what's in the box All challenge. that fun stuff. So, yes, human-friendly cat food. We're going to be trying different types of cat food and see which one is tasty enough for humans to consume. That's, that's what we're going to do, right? We're going to eat cat food. We're going to eat cat food. We already are. We are? Mm -hmm. Remember, human-friendly cat food. Like, we eat, for example, we eat chicken. They can eat chicken. And we eat, ate chicken before. And they never tried it, so. It's oh, wait, so we're not eating cat food? They're eating human food. Oh, I thought you said human-friendly cat food. So the cat food that humans can eat. Man, I was really looking forward to having some of that meow mix. I tried a kibble before and it was delicious. I wish I could try their wet food. No. What? No. What? You want to eat cat food? Well, I guess everyone at that age. I tried a dog biscuit when I was younger. Milk bone. Wasn't that good. Yeah. All right. Someday. Someday. But next week, we are going to give cats friendly human food. And we watched this video. And if you have any suggestions that you want us to give the, to the cats. Well, let's not get suggestions from them because they could say things like cheesecake or uh, ice cream or things that cats can't really have. <clears throat> Chocolate. Yeah. Brussels sprouts, uh, turnips, onions. Anything that cats can't have. Yeah. I'm sure they could, but I don't want onion breath on the cat. Empanadas. Cats can have empanadas. Anyone can have empanadas. Do you know what an empanada is? Mm -mm. All right. So we're going to need to have William's mom bring us crepes and empanadas. That's... No. Just tell me what an empanada is. But if I tell you, then it defeats the purpose of putting it on video. Is it? Ah, no. See? Okay. No, okay. Always think five steps ahead. Do not deliver some empanadas to us. Why not? I like empanadas. You would like them too. I will get them someday. It's like a Mexican crepe. That's deep fried. Mm. It smells, huh? No, it doesn't smell. And it's it, snails. No, it's not snails. Snails is escargot. We covered that. Which, by the way, I still want to do escargot, but she doesn't want to try it. No. So, one day, she will try it. Just tell me what an empanada is. I'll, tell you, I'll tell you later. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, but anyways, I am inspired by YouTube, but I don't know if we should do it on Facebook Live, but like, shout outs. Shout outs. Sure. Give a shout out. To who? Leave in the comments down below if you want a shout out and we'll think of a topic that you guys can relate to and all. All right, so we'll have to have a discussion forum. Is that what you're saying? So we can talk back and forth and get some interaction and all that fun stuff? Mm-hmm, and then when they comment about a specific topic and a good thing, then we can give them a shout out. Oh, okay. Well, we've had a couple people comment already. Do you want to give them a shout out? Mm -hmm. Okay, who's commented? You don't have, I can whisper it to you, I remember. Mm -hmm. Alright, <laughs> so, from the beginning of the video, my Dima said hi. Okay, you don't have to read all the comments, just give a shout out to the people using their name. So, I give a shout out to Dima. And so the ones that are watching are Lola Lopez, Mike Thompson, Sam Basslong. You know you're forcing them to look at your eyes very up close, right? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Here, how about I whisper it to you because I remember who was watching. Okay. Okay. Okay, but you have to give a shout out with gusto. Big shout out okay. like that, okay? So, the first sh <coughs> shout out is William Lopez. Okay. Woo. And then the next shout out is Jima. Yeah, 
Eva Cortez. Yvette. Yvette Cortez. <laughs> Sorry if I said your name wrong, guys. Sam Bass Long. Justin Shannon. Jen Sano. Yeah, cousin, family. All right, uh, who else did we miss? Anyone? Mom watched one of ours. A long time ago, yeah? <laughs> okay. All right, well, I think that just about wraps it up. Anything else you want to say or add before we sign off? Um, I'm just going to be checking on the cats. Okay, she's going to check the cats. So I guess that means I'll close it out and I'll turn it off. Thanks again for watching. Oh, wait, she's back. <laughs> Oh no, the cat turned it. What's he trying to do? That's not goody good. Oh man. All right. So don't let the cat paw at the, the screen. Oh my gosh. All right. So that was a little bit hectic. So thanks again, and we will see you next week. Mm.